What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B, with another haul video. Pretty lengthy one. As you can see by the opening, Stevie B is in the process of yet another remodel or uh, revamping or reorganization, whatever you want to call it. I'm in the middle of it. So, things are a little disorganized right now, but as you can see, things are looking better. Um, this is going to be the action figure, or the, excuse me, the the uh, comic book filming area. And then when I flip it over, here, let's show you. We flip it over to the other side. Eventually, that's going to be the the uh, action figure filming or variant kind of whatever. But anyway, but as you can see, we got some new stuff going in. Um, going to have, uh, there's going to be a little spot that's going to be off over to this side of me eventually with uh, another rail system like these comics are in that are going to be for, uh, yeah, be two rows maybe for sales when I do sales. But I'll show you what these are. If, not that anybody, maybe, maybe you're interested, maybe you're not. But if you want a quick little easy D DIY project to put your comics up, these are great. These are vinyl J channel. They're 5 8 inch channel for vinyl siding. And you hang, it's what you use to hang your siding with. But as you can see, when you hang them, you know, I hang them one up this way and one this way. And, and it makes... You know for your slabs or cases or even your regular books you can just slide them in and out as needed so i can i could take all these books up here and slide them out and change them up however i want without having to take the whole setup apart all i have to do is just slide the books out like tiles and take the one out i want put the one i want back in and slide it back together um it's working great. Looks great. I'm I'm really happy way with with the way it's turning out. Um, again, I got some more rows to add, but I'm I'm waiting on I'm waiting on some supplies still, more uh, comic supplies, not building supplies. So you know, by the time this video airs, this should all be done, and this should be the only video where you have to see this half half full wall uh, and this incomplete part of it. But, um, but waiting on some more gator guards, because I've got some books that need to be in some gator guards that are going to go in this area here. And then I may have one area below down here that's going to be dedicated to just raw books. No, you know, no, uh, no guards, no, no graded cases and all that. But, um, it's coming along. It's coming along. I'm pretty happy with it. Hell, I... Um, but yeah, for under 40 bucks, man, you can buy those, those, uh, five eighths inch, five eighths inch J channel, um, vinyl siding channels. Um, and they're great. Just cut them to size. I cut mine three and a half feet on for each one and it holds five books perfectly. And then I left that gap in the middle right here. So I could slide my books down, have a place to make sure I could slide them down. I'll probably hang some artwork up in the middle there to cover that gap up. That way I can just take the picture off and slide my books out or whatever. But it's coming along. It's coming along great. I'm really happy with it. But anyway, enough with the DIY projects. You come here to see some books. I'm going to show you some books. Um, probably um, I had to wait on Midtown about a day later than usual they're usually here on mondays and they didn't get here until wednesday actually so um they're a couple days late but that isn't gonna affect this video because it'll be a week behind anyway but i'm gonna show you what i picked up from midtown again like i said probably the same stuff y'all picked up so you know yeah but um but we got batman urban legends number three but um this I can't remember who that who the artist is on this cover. Um, I had it in my head, but I can't remember it now. <laughs> and I said, "Don't forget this artist's name." But then, 
I started filming and went on this little tangent about my DIY project and forgot it. So screw it. But anyway, but but of course, like I said, everybody's probably getting those. Um, silk number three. I'm just about done picking. I'm going to pick up two more issues of silk and then I'm going to call it quits with it. You know, unless something crazy happens in issue six. But this is the first cover appearance of Saya Ishii. So I don't know how that's going to blow up. It's a new character. The character's popular. So picking up on her supporting cast members, probably not a bad investment. Just saying. So, and then I'm picking up uh, the six people part uh batman the detective this uh takes place in england that's a storyline set in england so it's eh, i'll be honest with you i'm gonna get the set but not really digging it too much but we can do anyway and then we've got uh children of the atom part three another one where i'm probably gonna get the first five and then probably dump it um it's all right i'm not eh not really my thing, but they're just trying to capitalize on the popularity of, you know, younger superhero teams like, you know, Teen Titans or, uh, or you know, Young Justice, uh, you know, cashing in on popularity. So anyway, but I'll probably get the first five. And this is the origin of the Children of the Atom. This is their origin story. And then the Spider-Man Spider Shadow. This has been this is an interesting story. I like this. This is a what if. What if Peter Parker uh never got rid of the symbiote suit? What if he kept the symbiote suit? And this storyline is about that. And it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna get all of those. I'm gonna pick up all those. I may actually enjoy that one. And then Wonder Woman, this number 772. This is the First cover and first full appearance of Wonder Woman's dark evil side that's manifested it, or the embodiment of it. So she gets to fight with her her demons, her inner demons, I guess, so to speak. But it's probably not, you know, I picked it up, but I, I doubt this. I seriously doubt this blows up into any kind of key whatsoever. It's just, I thought the cover was really sick, though. Evil Wonder Woman, that's pretty badass. And these I'm loving. Um, the Joker number three with Vengeance, Bane's daughter. This is some good shit. Um, love that cover. The cover is just absolutely gorgeous. But uh, this is the first appearance of, of Vengeance in costume. So, but I'm picking up the Joker books. I'm digging those. I'm sure everybody's picking those up. And speaking of, you know, younger superhero teams... They just don't go away, do they? Because people want them back. I'm telling you, everybody that picked on me, I say everybody that teased me and picked on me, it's really just comic food and squatchy that teased me about these, really. But, um, but I hear y'all in this, I see y'all in the chat, you know, throwing gas on the fire when they get rolling. But, but they're back. Challenge of the Super Sons Part 2. Um, this is the first appearance of the Doom Scroll. Um, which I don't know if ever pan out, but it's Super Sons. I still holding out hope that that the Super Sons turn into something bigger someday. Um, I really, honestly, it just screams animated series in my opinion. Just absolutely, just begs for an animated series. But anyway, that's my uh, that is my haul for um. My Midtown Hall, my weekly stuff, which is a week behind of what everybody else got. You know, I just get them today as I'm filming, but I'm a day late releasing it, so or a week late releasing it, so I'm a week behind every time. But anyway, you don't really come here to see these, these weekly hauls anyway, because it's the same shit everybody's getting. You want to see what is Stevie V picking up um, that's different from everybody else. And... Uh, I had number one of this, and I've been like in the on the back burner wanting to get the others, but it's Batman the Max, the Max Arkham Dreams, and that is just a that a Des Jardins cover there that I got that I really thought was just nasty. I picked it up, 
But I was like, I want all of them because that's awesome. So I went and picked up number two. And look at these covers, man. They're just gorgeous. And number three. Number four. And numero five. That's Sam Key. Man, the big monster pointy ears he puts on Batman just cracked me up. But for some reason, he is the pointy to pointy ears what Todd McFarlane was to capes. Exaggerate the shit out of him. And I love it. I ain't gonna lie. I love it. Um, but so I got the whole five part series of that. So I'm stoked. Now I can actually sit down and read it because I want to hear what that, see what that's all about. And then uh, I'm going to go through these quick because there's a bunch of them and you, you get the gist of them. And we got a lot of books to go through. But um, as you, uh, as you might have remembered me saying in previous videos, I, I picked up all the, uh, all the, um, the DC versus Marvel and then DC versus Marvel All Access, that storyline. And I told you I was on the hunt. I haven't rebagged and boarded these yet because they're gross and they need to be. But um, actually, I have to give a shout out to uh, Brock Morgan who who uh, who pointed me in this direction. Somebody had these for sale on the cheap, so I picked these up for twenty five dollars. But I told you I was going after that Amalgam Universe stuff. Well. Here we go. I actually have a copy of this one already, but you know, for the price, I have two. But uh, the Amalgam Universe, or as Fu says, the Amalgam. These are the Amalgam books. <laughs> but this is uh, Spider Man Team Up number one, or Spider Boy Team Up number one, pardon me. Um, Bullets and Bracelets number one. The old uh, Wonder Woman and Punisher team up there. That's pretty cool. Magneto and the Magnetic Men. So, kind of an X-Men and um, Metal Men kind of crossover thing. Amalgam there. So, pretty cool. And Doctor Strange Fate. Doctor Strange crosses over with Doctor Fate. Oops, I gotta watch the back of these. There's some on the back of these I didn't check. But I'll get this one. But, uh, so there's that one. And then Generation Hex. Little Jonah Hex thing, but on the back of my Magneto thing was Amazon number one, kind of Storm Wonder Woman crossover. Well, that's pretty cool. Then we've got um, Super Soldier number one, little Cap Superman action. And then on the other side of that, one of the the one that actually I think was the most popular of the series was the Dark Claw number one, that Batman Wolverine mashup it's pretty cool then we got the other spider boy number one there was a spider boy and the spider boy team up apparently the team up one is a little harder to find but then this one a little rarer but uh i got them both anyway and i got a couple copies of the other one so cool and then x patrol number one they're all number ones i don't know why i keep saying number one number one but we got Assassins. That one's cool. But, uh, and then on the other side, we got JLX. But I'm so happy to get these. I ain't even gonna lie. These are so awesome. And then we've got Speed Demon. Number one. Again, with the number one. And Bat Thing. That one's cool. Man thing and Batman or man bat crossover there. And Bruce Wayne, Agent of Shield. And on the other side, Thorion of the New As Gods. I actually I actually had never even heard of this one. Didn't even know this one exists. But some new gods Thor uh, crossover, I'm assuming, but pretty cool. Then we got, um, did I get, end up with two of these? 
Or is this a different book altogether? No, it's a different one. Oh, okay. I got there was Magneto and the Magnetic Men, and this one is the Magnetic Men featuring Magneto, number one. But these are some dingy ass bags. I I, I gotta say, man, the, these bags are are rough. So I'm gonna rebag and board them. They're gonna look sweet. And then X Patrol, the exciting X Patrol, number one. And then this one's one of my favorites. You gotta love this. Lobo, the duck. <laughs> That's awesome. That one's sweet. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> and then last in this one, little foo book. Uh, the Amalgam Iron Lantern, number one. Amalgam. It's a thing. Google it. That's one of those words where you go... Google, look up Amalgam, and Google says, I'm sorry, but I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> so anyway, so I got a massive head start on the uh, Amalgam books. Um, but I'm, I, I, I've got to go through and, and uh, catalog these. What I hate about the CZL app, or CLZ app, whatever that freaking app is that I'm paying for, to catalog catalog all my books. Only thing I hate them is they don't categorize them into amalgam books. I wish they would, and if there is a way to do that, somebody light me up in the comics comments and tell me how. But it separates them by title, and I can't put them in one category under amalgam, which would be awesome. But um, so it's hard to keep track of which ones I got and which ones I don't. So I'm gonna have to write them down. Anyway, um, but that being said. We will get into the next set. This is I'm a, this is one that I, I picked up. It's a free comic book day. Um, it's the first appearance of Grail. Couldn't remember it. First appearance of Grail, which I believe is Darkseid's daughter. Um, just a little cheap spec book. I don't know if it'll ever pan out, but I picked one up anyway. So, sue me. All right. But now, these I'm excited to show you. I'm extremely excited to show I know y'all are, are just about up to here with my Dark Child stuff. But these are really cool. You are going to like these anyway. Um, I know it's a new, another Super Sons thing. God damn it. Well, I'll be glad when he gets all those so we can move past them. But, love Dark Child and these are disgusting. I'm telling you. But anyway, I picked these up overseas in Germany. It took me a month to get them. But I got a really good price on them. And they are awesome. And these are from mostly from German uh, cons. And high, very, very limited print runs. But I got Dark Child Redemption number one half. Uh, one of 300. There's only 300 of these covers. But that is just gorgeous. Just soak that in. I'm telling you, uh, Randy Queen, my opinion, highly underrated. Highly underrated artist. He is absolutely incredible. And then we've got Dark Child number one, uh, variant B, German com Comic Con variant B, also limited to 300. Get the full, then we'll get that little. But these are just beautiful covers. I love these so much. These are so great. And then next up we've got Dark Child number one. Uh, the German Comic Con exclusive. Uh, this is the A1, A cover. This is the New Roses uh, variant. And there's only 300 of these as well. But I just love these things. And then next up, I have this one already, but this is not the one I have. Is I did I? It hasn't made the wall yet, but it's it's waiting for its Gator Guard case because it's gonna go right in here, probably right in this spot here. But this is the um, one in three hundred, one of three hundred, uh, Dark Child Redemption number one half. 
another German con exclusive. Um, but the variant B for one half. And you've seen that one before. The one I've got is only 25 in existence and it's a it's a publisher's proof copy. And this is just the variant, the final product. The publisher's proof was limited to only 25. And I that's going on the wall. Now we get into some good shit here. These are so awesome. These are these are just great. And this is limited to uh 99 of these. And this is Dark Child number one. And this is a Frazetta homage cover. But this sketch cover. And it's just... Tell me that's not just nasty, man. That is just nasty. A little homage to Frank Frazetta's artwork. But check this out. It's just... That's just amazing. I was just stoked as hell to get these. And then we've got the last one, also 99, limited to 99, is Dark Child Redemption number one. Another limited one, one of 99 sketch cover. But I love these. He has got one more sketch cover that he's holding for me, along with a couple other books that I'm having to put on hold. Um... These exclusives like this, these low print runs are, they're not, they're not outrageously expensive, but you know, they're a little higher price than your boy Stevie B likes to spend on comics. Um, but, uh, he, he bulk bundles them together and gives him a pretty good deal. So, and he's somebody overseas and I can trust him. I know he's, he took really good care of my books. And I'm not going to link him in the description because I don't want y'all buying my shit out from under me. <laughs> but uh, probably wouldn't be hard to find him if you had to. But um, anyway, <clears throat> um, but that's the haul for this week. I know it's a bundle. I got a shit ton of work putting these away. I know it's a bundle. Um, I appreciate you sticking through the whole thing. And um, I know this videos won't run a little longer, um, but uh, I'm not going to talk about the 1K giveaway because I don't know if I'll have hit it by now or not. But uh, we'll talk about it. I don't think I will yet. It's going really slow, but we'll mention it one more time just in case. But um, if it hasn't happened yet, 1,000 subscribers, you're going to get. Ultimate Fallout number four, second printing. It's a $250 going up book. And if that ain't good enough for you, uh, when we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm also going to be giving away um, our Squatchy Ink is donating a custom cover of your design, which he will create and have sent to CGC and have it yellow labeled and sent back to you. So that's a cool prize. Um, so yeah, um, hundred subscribe or a thousand subscribers, and that's what the giveaway is going to be. It's worth playing for. And as I said, part of the part of the conditions of the of the giveaway will be to get my friend Jason Sizemore, the comic book preacher, to one hundred subscribers. And I know you're thinking why I got to jump through so many hoops to enter a contest. I'll tell you why. Okay, come on. I'm trying to help another member of the community who really loves this community and wants to get his foot in the door. I'm trying to help him out and get him and get him in there, get him to that first milestone. Because that first 100 man, it, it, if you got a channel on here, you know what it is. You know at that first hundred subscribers, it, subscribers, it's it's like you you finally you feel like somebody's watching your shit and paying attention. And it's just a, and it's, and it's just an amazing feeling. And I want to give that back to my friend Jason. I want him to have that. I want him to enjoy what he's doing and don't not feel like it's, not feel like uh, he's doing it for nobody except me and him. You know. So um, I don't. I want to encourage him to keep putting out content because his content that he puts out is really great. Love watching his videos. You'll love watching his videos too. 
But anyway, enough rambling. We've gone on for about 25 minutes here. Um, like, uh, head over to Jason, subscribe to his channel. Let's get him to 100 because once he gets to 100, then the contest rules are going to be very simple, very quick, and we will, and we'll, uh, and we'll give them them books out. But anyway, the, enough rambling. That's going to do it for me. That's going to do it for this haul. Hope you're liking the new backgrounds. Hope you're liking the changes to the channel. I'm working really hard. Uh, got plans when that 1K hits. Uh, going to start doing live stream stuff. Maybe some sales. Um, I'm going to have a whole section of my wall dedicated for comics for sale. May, uh, may do them in live auctions. May just show them on the videos and say, hey, claim it in the comments. You know how I like to claim in the comments. It's so much easier. Claim it in the comments and then I'll hit you up. But we'll, but we'll figure something out. We'll do some comic book sales. Got to sell some stuff. Stevie B has not had a good week. I have wrecked the Hummer. Boom. Yeah. Uh, totaled it out. So, um, so yeah, your boy is, is needing to move some comic books to get some, to make that money back. But anyway, we'll talk about that. Before you go, remember, hey, like my shit, comment on my shit, subscribe to my shit, and turn that bell on so you don't miss my new shit. We'll see you guys in the next shit. Peace.